so today's topic is 8 bit CISO shift register so what is meant by CISO CISO stands for serial in serial out okay so the input is in serial as well as the output is also taken in serial manner so you know that what is meant by a shift register shift register is a register in which the binary data can be stored and that data can be shifted to either left or right when a shift signal is applied so in this case you know that in serial in serial output uh, shift register you know that if it is n bit shift register you want n flip flops right so if it is an 8 bit uh, shift register then you you require 8 uh, flip flops so the first diagram shows the block diagram of your uh, shift register 8 bit uh, serial in serial out shift register which consists of a serial input as well as your serial out with a clock signal so what happens in your serial input the data is shifted into the first flip-flop one bit at a time and the, this one bit at a time is entered uh, from the LSB so first data to be entered will be a lower significant bit and it proceeds towards your MSB okay serial out what happens in your serial out the data can only be read out of the last flip-flop okay so what is the disadvantage of this uh, case it requires n clock pulse to enter the data enter the data itself takes n clock pulse and it requires another n clock pulse to read the data this is one of the advantage to read the data it takes another clock pulse if it is a uh, 4 bit uh, uh, shift register then it requires 4 uh, clock pulse to enter the data and another 4 clock pulse to read the data so in this case 8 bit means it requires 8 clock pulse to enter the data and again 8 another 8 uh, clock pulse to read the data so that is one of the disadvantage in this case okay so I have drawn the flip flops since it is an 8 bit it consists of 8 different flip flops 1 2 3 so uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 flip flops okay it is sr flip flop so you know that in this case sr uh, serial input is given to the first flip flop so s if s is equal to 1 your q will be equal to 1 so what is your truth table i you can remember your truth table if s is equal to 1 q will be equal to 1 if uh, s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 q will be equal to 0 means what q bar will be equal to 1 so we have taken here uh, s we are giving it your serial input data the complement of it will go to your r and each flip flop is connected first stage is connected to the second stage q will be connected to s and q bar will be connected to r because whatever is the state in the s the same value you will be getting in q and whatever uh, be the value of r the same will be the value of your q bar so all this uh, flip flops are interconnected and clock pulse is given so in this the example taken is a positive triggered clock okay so each clock is applied to all the flip flops eight flip flops okay so if i consider the data 10101101 so this will be one will be your lsb so the first data will be entering onto your first flip flop for the first clock pulse second clock pulse the data starts shifting so if i i have redrawn the diagram here if this is your serial input given and this is your register content so eight different registers and your uh, your serial out, uh, output depending on your clock pulse so during the first clock pulse what will happen initially you are assuming that all the register content is equal to zero so uh, zero before this all the data it is cleared the register contents is uh, cleared so all the data will be equal to zero now during the first clock pulse you will be entering the first bit that is your lsb here in this case the first bit is one so your one will be entered to your first flip flop the remaining all contents will be equal to zero what will happen to your second flip flop this one will be shifted to the next flip flop that is one will be shifted and the second data will be entering to the first flip flop all other values will be equal to zero now during the third clock pulse what will happen so one will be shifted here zero will be shifted here now the third data will be entering here okay all other datas will be register content will be equal to zero during the fourth click uh, clock pulse what will happen this one will be shifted here 
to the next flip flop zero one will be shifted and the new uh, data will be entered that is one will be entered here all other remains zero so what will happen during your fifth clock pulse shifting will take place zero here you will be having one again one and the new data will be entered zero will be entered okay during the next clock pulse sixth clock pulse again you will have your shifting one zero one one zero and the new data will be now entered one okay during the seventh clock pulse what will happen your shifting happens one zero will be shifted here one one zero one and the next new data will be entered that is your zero now during the eighth clock pulse you, you will be having the finally the first uh, lsb will be coming on to your register eighth register that will be your first data is all the data will be entered as well as you can get the uh, output from the eighth flip flop okay so one zero one one zero one zero and finally you will be having your msb into this so all data is entered now along with that you can now start getting your output from the last flip flop okay so now you require another n clock pulse to read all the data so this is one of the disadvantage this is the working principle of your 8 bit serial in serial out shift register